when it comes to this kind of love, the love between the man and the woman in a marriage relationship, the Bible is not talking about a love that happens at first sight, a Hollywood love, that kind of romantic love. Uh, there is nothing wrong with romance, and there is romance, in fact. It will happen, as we read the scriptures, between any man and woman that God joins them. But the love should not be mixed up with lust or sexual perversion. Your love should have nothing to do with sexual immorality. And 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 to 8 we read the characteristics of this type of love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It doesn't boast. It is not proud. It doesn't dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil or rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Now, if you meet all that, when you saw your wife to be, or your wife that you are married to now, then you are on the right path. I'll tell you a little story. When I first met my wife-to-be, for the first time, there was no love at first sight like that, like Hollywood movies. I'll tell you that from either side. But God told me, this is your wife. I'm not going to go into details of the story, how we met and all that. But the story is, briefly, that we met in a place that you know, I was casually going through and we met and I had no desire to even stop in that place for an extra second and I was rushing out but my friend, a friend of mine who was driving me through and I was in his car, stopped by and started talking to this lady who is my wife now and uh, when we started talking and as I was listening and it wasn't anything extraordinary, the conversation was totally normal and ordinary, daily conversation. And God told me, this is your wife. We met again, and, and I suggested the idea of friendship with the goal of marriage at the end. Now, I explained to her that what I meant by that was that I want a relationship with a person that ultimately will lead to marriage if things go well. If things don't work, then we go our own ways. But I knew for sure that she was my wife. The story is on the other side, God had spoken to her too, that God would bring to her the right person. God put that desire in her heart, when just before that she had absolutely no desire to get married. She was planning to be a missionary in some remote island. But God put that desire in her heart to be married. Now we're doing our mission and things are happening a different way. However. It's a long story. God put that desire in her heart. God put that desire in my heart. When we saw each other, we didn't fall. We didn't fall in love. We didn't melt. But the love was there immediately. The love, this type of love, that was patient, kind, and didn't have any envy, didn't boast, no pride in it, and all that. In such a way that I just felt she is part of me. She's an extension of my body. She is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. And the same thing happened to her. But the, the desire was so uh, strong that she didn't want to 
get married at the time and she thought she'd got it wrong so she pleaded with God to take that desire away and God took that desire away she said no to me we disconnected any type of relationship any type of contact we had not even one single contact after that and um, we had no contact emails phones or anything for about one and a half years or nearly two years and until unbeknown to me God put that desire in her heart again for the second time and this was this this time was very strong this time was even stronger than before and at the same time God put that desire in my heart because I forgot about it I put that away I just switched off I just thought I forget it you know this, this is not the right person so I got it wrong I must have got it wrong but I was praying to God that God you showed me this lady and if that wasn't the right person because I felt that was mine she was my wife she was going to be my wife but if, it's, if it hasn't obviously it hasn't happened so you must have a better plan for me a better maybe a better person but God put that desire in my heart and I contacted her via email and I said are you still here I'm still here and you know we're not going into details of it again but what happened was that when we met again she told me she proposed to me and she said God that God put that desire in her heart and things uh, moved on from there and we got married and we just recently had our 10th wedding anniversary we have a six-year-old daughter and another boy on his way in a few months